Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you this GE 55 watt, 200 watt equivalent CFL bulb. Now this particular bulb here I picked up quite a long time ago on clearance at Walmart for as you can see $5, I don't think it's worth $12, and maybe to some of you it's not even worth 5 because well we got LED technology and incandescents probably do a better job anyway, but it was an interesting thing to pick up so here I did because these giant CFLs are being phased out pretty fast by the giant LED bulbs that replace them or just the standard incandescent ones that you know are smaller and do a better job or even halogen. So anyway here is the front of the packaging we just have the basic information there we have the 3800 lumens it says 7.3 year life and I believe that's if you use it for like an hour a day or something ridiculous. Of course information here at the bottom we have caution information here on the side. Made in China, not a surprise there. Of course, some information on the back. Of course, the lighting facts that are required now. Let's see if it, um, maybe it already said here, mm, there's a warranty on it, based on three hours a day, but there should be something. It's probably in here. Yeah, three hours a day. Um, is where they're getting the seven-year life. Now, the electronics inside, I guess, will determine that, probably. But let's go ahead and open it up. And it's a giant CFL. No other way of saying it. It is absolutely humongous. So, let's compare it to a standard incandescent bulb. Yes, that is much bigger. Here's a standard GE 300-watt bulb for size. It's even bigger than that. So, yeah, a pretty big CFL. Of course, they make these 200 watt equivalent ones now smaller than this, so this is an earlier one. But still a really neat, nice piece of uh, CFL history here. Very thick tube, I'd say maybe it's T6 in size. It's definitely bigger than T5. So I'd say T6 would be the size of this spiral tube here. Of course on the ballast base we have the same information that we saw in the box. Yeah, do not use with dimmers. Just this thing is just obnoxiously huge. So let's go ahead and screw it into our socket here. Now something like this you don't want to screw it in up here. You may bust the cement here at the bottom or break the bulb. That scared the heck out of me. I guess I didn't know that this uh, socket was already on, but it was. So, we'll turn off our main light here. And as you can tell, it's going to take a little bit to warm up. So, I suppose, let's focus on it. This isn't the best way of doing it, letting it sit on a surface uh, like this. So, I'm going to hold it here but it'll take a bit to warm up. And once it does, I have had this thing at full brightness and it definitely equals a 200 watt bulb. It is insanely bright. Um, let me check. There's absolutely no ballast hum. For some reason I wanted to check that because some of these bigger ones do have a ballast hum to them even though they are electronic. So overall just a gigantic CFL and you can see it's about halfway warmed up. It isn't as mercury starved as some of the more modern CFLs but it definitely still takes its time in warming up. Let me hold it above the camera here and put some things down so we have something to look at. Move the light around. And the shadows aren't that harsh, which is nice as you can see. They're not harsh um, like you'd get from, say, a halogen or direct LED. But yeah, this thing is pretty much at full brightness now, if not already there, because it is very, very bright. Yeah, a really nice CFL, though. Definitely gets the job done for what it is. So anyway, I really do hope you enjoyed this little video of, uh, I guess, CFL history now with LEDs taking over everything, uh, of this GE 55 watt, 200 watt incandescent equivalent CFL bulb. Also, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you very much.
for watching.